Okay, so I'm going to make some colloidal silver. Um, I've got my distilled water in there, which I've made for my uh, water distilling machine. I've got the silver there. I've got pint glass ready uh, to make it in. So what I'm going to do first is um, this water here has been distilled twice, so it should have a reading of uh, zero if I test it with a ppm. Um, so I'll do that now, just to make sure. Took that away. Helps to get a more accurate reading on that. So. I've got my PPM tester. So I'm going to test that. So I should be getting a reading of zero. Reading of zero on that. So let's check that. Okay, so that's good. That's great. I've got zero. Perfectly pure distilled water. And that's exactly how you want it. If um, you know, the more PPMs in there, the worse it is, and the less pure it is. So uh, always make sure when you get yourself a PPM tester and, and test the water, uh, make sure it's zero, um, and it will work better. So okay, so we've done that. So we know the water is uh, good. I'm going to make it in this pint glass. So I'm going to wash this one out a little bit as well. a couple of times okay so I'm going to fill the pine glass up to about there oh, maybe a bit more Okay, now I'm going to put that in the microwave. Okay, so for a pint of water, um, <coughs> probably about three, three and a half minutes, <coughs> three and a half minutes, and um, uh, no, it should be done. Just check it when it's finished. It might actually be about four minutes. Um, we're just going to heat it up so that it's um, close to boiling point. So while we're waiting for the uh, water to heat up, uh, that's the distiller machine that I got. Uh, works pretty well. Fill the up in the top there, and this goes under there, and there you go. So when uh, when it does a whole bottle, then um, pull the bottle back inside, um, wash it out a little bit as well with the distilled water, push, put the water back inside, and then just fill it again. It needs to be done twice um, <coughs> to make sure it's pure. Okay, so pretty much done. Okay, so I'm going to explain the setup I've got. Um, I've got this here uh, with a candle underneath, so uh, it's going to keep the water hot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in this pan. Pan will go on the top, like that. Sorry, like that. And I will light the candle, and there'll be hot water in there. And then the pint glass will go inside, inside it. So I'm just going to put some hot water in there now. Okay, so light the candle. That on top. Okay, pan on top as well. Okay. Put some water in there. That's it. Good. Just going to put this down. I need two hands to put the glass in with the um, oven gloves. Okay, so that's the setup I've got. Candles are light under there. Um, what the pan sitting on is just a cafeteria from a um, coffee maker. And the water sitting inside water in there, which is um, keeping it hot with a candle. What you could also use is a hot plate on a, a 
top of a gas oven, well not gas oven, but electric oven. I'm not using um, a gas one because um, I thought it would get too hot, so I'm just using, um, and I want it here as well, so it's by the plug socket. So the setup I'm using, I've got a, um, it's an AC to DC adapter. So AC, what I've got here is an, an AC to DC adapter. I've got it set on 12 volts. So that's what that is. Now here's the setup I've got for the silver. So what I've done is um, taken the plug off the wire there and split them up into two separate ones, wrap the wires around the silver. I've got this piece of wood here and I've just drilled some holes in it. That just helps to keep it keep it in, keep it in the right place basically. I can push those down and that also keep it together as well but you can tell I need to clean these so I'm going to do that first. Give these a clean. Okay so just going to clean these. Make sure you've got a clean cloth and you see there's a scour inside of the sponge. Make sure it's clean. Just clean the stuff off from last time. So it actually feels quite rough. Okay. Right. So now I'm going to use a bit of toilet paper, dry down. So that's like a second cleaning. Now I always make sure that these don't touch touch a surface or anything. So I've got the wires and make sure they're kind of about about that kind of distance apart really. Now that it's clean. Okay, so I just put the wires in there. And as you can see, there's the wires. No, oh, silver. Silver wires. Right now, I'm just going to plug it in now into the socket. And it's on. So, that's the setup then. So, um, that should start the process going. Um, move that away a little bit from here. Just make sure it's in the middle. It's better. So, we've been pretty careful with um, keeping, making sure everything's uh, clean. Um, the water, zero ppm, the silver um, cleaned off with uh, toilet paper as well, so that's going to go in there, um, I'm probably going to leave that in there and, and get back to it in about probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and we'll see what's happening. Okay, so it's been um, working now for probably about 20 minutes. As you can see, there's bubbles on the one side. The other side's got a slight discoloration, um, kind of yellowy colour. So it's working, it's doing stuff. Um, yeah, just so you know, you don't need to. I mean, a lot of people that are uh, making this um, are doing it so it's yellow. Um, from this, the, if you've got zero ppm water and very clear, clean silver. Um, should be able to get uh, a nice clear, um, should actually look quite clear like water when it's finished, even with a 15 or 20 ppm. So just bear that in mind. So I'm going to leave this a bit longer. Just start seeing the uh, um, Claudia Silver coming off soon. So just a little close up. You can see the bubbles. It's starting to work. So. nice and clear. 
something else I'd like to point out as well. Um, when I first made this, it, um, the process was quite fast. Now, that could be down to the fact that um, the water wasn't pure enough. I think I remember it was eight parts per million the first time I did it, um, using a kettle to purify the water. So, um, so yeah, this, this actually takes a while um, if you do it properly. Um, I've seen some on YouTube where it's actually pretty fast, but um, if you're using a AC to DC, uh, 12 volts, um, this generally takes me probably about two hours, and then it's done. So what we now are probably we're in about 20 minutes in so far. So we'll come back to that in half an hour. Okay, so it's working now. I don't know if you can see that. Get a bit closer. See it releasing uh, a colloidal silver. You know, it's really an amazing picture. Let's try the other side. Need to be looking at cleaning that now because it's got quite dirty. <coughs> It'll still carry on making a colloidal silver straight afterwards. So um doesn't matter if you clean it, you're not going to wipe anything away, you're not going to make it slow down uh, or anything like that. Uh, what I might do as well is put the uh, Put the glass into the microwave again for make, make it hot again. So okay, so I've cleaned those off. Uh, I've cleaned each one of the silver um, rods. I've heated the water up again in the microwave for uh, about two minutes. So I'm just going to turn it on again. Okay, so you can see that now it's particles coming off. Okay, so it's been going now for, ooh, I'd say, probably about two hours. The nice particles coming off there on the right hand side. It's working quite nicely. We're going to give that a test very soon, I'd say. Okay, so we're getting a slight yellow coloration to that. Hard to tell really, but I'm going to take that off now and test that. Okay, so we're going to test it, see what we got. So we're at 14. Okay, so we're just going to pour that into another glass. There we go. It's ready to drink. Have a look at the clarity of it. See, it's not, it's not like a crazy yellow. It's like a nice clear.